Let's see what this looks like up close. Not good. Hey guys, today I want to put makeup on and that's that. I don't want to do a review. I don't want to do anything like that. I just want to do my makeup as if I'm just sitting down and enjoying the process. Back in the day, when I first started YouTube, I used to love just sitting down and putting makeup on. As this became more of my job and I was doing it three times a week and yada yada, that really phased out because I just, I didn't have, you, not that you start to lose the drive for it, but you always think like, well, I mean, it's my job and then if I'm gonna do it, I might as well film it and then I might as well do a review because I might as well not just like do my makeup. And today I just wanna do my makeup. I don't wanna have some ulterior motive other than just like enjoying my time. You may hear the Roomba going downstairs. My door is open right now, so. I'm drinking LaCroix. This one is Cran Raspberry, and it's probably one of my least favorite ones I've had. This one tastes like Bath & Body Works Sweet Pea Body Splash. Drop of that with some sparkling water. Just real like perfumey. So I've had this sitting here forever. I've never tried it. This is the Tatcha Silk Canvas and I love uh, almost all of Tatcha's other products, but this is one that I've never tried because you guys know I don't like primers. I've always wanted to make a video on why I don't like primer and why I don't really believe in it, but I'll just gently say it here. It's because every time I've ever used primer, I feel like I see no difference. I feel like my makeup applies the same. It stays the same length. It's just like, it's almost like a lie, but this one does seem like it does do something. So this is the packaging right here. This is gorgeous. Open it up and this is what the inside looks like. It's like a balm. It comes with this really pretty little disc right here. And I think you just are meant to like scoop a bit out. It smells like Tatcha products. They all have a very, very distinct Tatcha smell. Nothing I've ever smelled in any other product before. I'm just gonna warm it up on my hands and try it. Mmm. Mm, God, I love the smell. It doesn't feel like what I pictured. I pictured it feeling like silicone-y, maybe? No, it really doesn't. I really pictured it feeling silicone-y. I pictured it almost being like the Benefit Professional, which I do not like. That is a product that some people are very, very obsessed with. And for myself, I just find just any sort of silicone-y primer is not my jam. Not my jam. This just kind of feels like, almost like a solid moisturizer. Wow, I'm really surprised. I was not expecting it to feel like this. God, it smells good. It's very heavily fragranced, but like in a very beautiful Tatcha E way. If you've never smelled Tatcha products before, like the water cream, the dewy moisturizer, they all smell exactly the same. We'll see how my foundation sits on top of it. I guess this is like a lot of first impressions in this video, like a lot. I think I am gonna try this foundation. I was gonna wait to do it in like a full separate video, but I just don't want to. So this is the CYO Life Proof Foundation. I think I'm gonna do a full separate wear test on depending how I feel about it today. This I have seen all over the internet people raving about it. The Taylor says that this is the best foundation, like her number one holy grail foundation. I am looking for a cruelty-free version of L'Oreal Pro Glow now, because as you guys know, that is my like ultimate number one favorite foundation. Gotta find a dupe, gotta find a dupe. So I'm wondering if this will be one. And from what I understand, this is very like dewy and natural and gorgeous and flawless. So we're gonna see, this is the bottle right here. I'm going to apply it on the back of my hand. I'm just gonna use one pump initially to start. And that color looks pretty good. This is the shade 107. When I went on CYO's website, you can't buy it from their website, which is so odd. And then it redirects you to Walgreens site. And now Walgreens says it's not available. So I don't know how people are supposed to purchase this, but this is the Fenty Beauty Sponge. Uh, I feel like that's removing coverage. Yeah, for sure. It's like a pretty good color match, honestly. I probably shouldn't have tried this for the first time over this Tatcha Silk Canvas because I've never used it before. Maddie thinks I'm talking to him when I'm filming. He thinks that I'm just talking to him. And he's down here scratching up my legs, trying to get up. He's sitting right behind me. So I'm like weirdly sitting in my chair now. I hope you guys can't notice it, but I definitely shouldn't have used this over the silk canvas the first time, but I'm gonna keep trying this out. I'm gonna try this a bunch of times because if so many people love this foundation, I posted about this foundation on my Instagram stories right when it came, and I feel like I've never gotten more replies. People saying like, you are going to love this foundation. It's going to change your life. And I'm like, you know what? I'm ready. All right, first impression on the foundation. It looks fine. I think it's the Tatcha stuff underneath where I'm like, mm, I don't know. Cause I feel like 
it might be just changing the way it sits on my skin a little bit. But again, this is not a first impressions video. This is just me playing with makeup. And I will do this again in another video coming up. I'm gonna try this out multiple times because again, you guys really requested the crap out of this foundation. I see people using this sponge all the time. This is a Morphe sponge and it's very firm, like dense. I don't know if you can tell. I wanted to try it. I like the shape of it. The shape of it looks nice and it seems to be like performing okay, but it's very, very firm. But I do like the shape of it, how you can like get right up underneath your eye. I wish it was more like the Flower Beauty sponge or like even the Real Techniques. You ever have those days where you just want to like do full glam makeup? That's kind of how I'm feeling today. You hear that? It's so slappy. Yeah, I feel like it's almost like even removing coverage at some points. Not loving the way my skin is looking right now, but you know what? I don't um, care. <laughs> Not going anywhere, just having fun playing with makeup. I even think I want to bake. I think I want to bake. I have not tried these yet. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Powder in the shade Butter. <laughs> oh, butter sounds good. This should be interesting. Don't ask me why I'm doing my makeup like this. I just, you ever just have those days where you're like, yeah, I like being natural most days. I like, you know, just doing what I normally do most days. And then those other days where you're like, I wanna look like a completely different person. That's today. I don't know if this is gonna make me look glam or if this is gonna make me look cakey as shit. Probably cakey. But you know, so far this powder is brightening. Holy, I never powdered my whole face. But I did that one video where I was like doing Instagram makeup and I powdered my whole face. And actually at the end, it looked pretty good. I like the sound this makes. Let's just be one of those people even today. Just like powder all down this. I mean, just who's, who's telling me no? Looking good. All right, it's time for eyebrows. And I think I'm gonna use Rich Brown CoverGirl. This is the CoverGirl Ultra Fine Brow Pencil that y'all know I love. Sorry, I can't talk and do brows at the same time. I mean, I can, cause I just was, but I also can't. All right, let's dust this off. See what this looks like up close. Not good. CYO, I'm sorry to do this to you. I'm putting you away for next time. We're gonna forget that today even happened. I didn't do you justice. I don't wanna even think about it. I didn't even use it. What foundation did I use today? I can't remember. I don't know. Am I even wearing foundation? I've never tried this before, but for the sake of salvaging things, let's see if you can. This is the Glow Recipe Ultra Fine Mist Watermelon Glow. Eight hundred sprays later, that smells oh <laughs> so good. That is a watermelon Jolly Rancher. Ooh, and it's cute and it's pretty and it's sweet. Let's see if that helped at all. No, no, I did not. Mm -mm. A little bit more. Kind of got to get this one close to your face because it's very, very fine mist, and if you hold it too far from your face, you really can't feel it. That really didn't help much. I look cakey as hell, but you know, whatever. What did I expect was going to happen? The thing about makeup is that I think that a lot of times online, especially as viewers, sorry, I'm just picking cat hair out of my eyes as I talk. Especially as viewers, it seems sometimes like the traditional standard of makeup application is sort of like, you kind of see it the same across the board. You see like a full coverage foundation, you see like a primer, a full coverage foundation, um, lots of concealer, baking on the under eyes. You see this, all of these steps and you think as somebody that watches YouTube videos, this is how I must apply makeup because that's how all of the, the greats on YouTube do it. And let me tell you, kind of doing it like this today, which I was just watching some YouTube videos of like makeup people on YouTube. And I just, I'm sort of like, doing the techniques I just saw them doing. It's not going great on me. I mean, and granted, I, I put a lot of powder on, but we each do things our own separate way. And if it doesn't work for you to do it the way they do it, you're probably not alone. This is the Pure Bronzing Act in light. Over powder, it's not looking as good. The other day when I used this on top of no powder, it looked so good. I've actually used this like 10 times. It's such a lovely bronzer. So the only thing I've done differently today is powder my face and it's not performing as well on top of that. So I would imagine it's best the way that I've been using it. I'm gonna try some of these new Jouer bronzers. I got these in the mail the other day and they are 
gorgeous. And you know what? I'm just feeling it. So maybe I can get one of these to work for me. Maybe I cannot. We're gonna find out. I'm gonna try this shade right now. This is tan slash bronze. These are the Soft Focus Hydrate and Set Powders. Hmm. This is almost very similar to the color of like Hula Light from Benefit. So if you're looking for a cruelty-free version, I feel like this is very similar in tone. This is more what I'm looking for. This is the shade Dark. Oh man, my skin looks awful. The more I'm doing to it though, the more it is like getting a little bit better. These bronzers seem pretty nice so far. Maybe these aren't bronzers. I don't even think these are bronzers. These are setting powders. Oh, cause it's called tan slash bronze. So maybe this is called deep. I love the little stamp in there of their logo, love. So I'm gonna go into the ColourPop Sweet Talk palette again. I used this in a first impressions, I'll link it up here like last week and I love this palette. So I am going to use it again. This is the Makeup Addiction Expert Blender Brush and I think I'm gonna go in with the different shades I haven't used. So I'm gonna go with this one here, which is Work It. My camera battery has been blinking at me saying it was gonna die for the last 15 minutes. So that's weird. I didn't tap out my concealer before I said it, so I've got a total line in it. All right, I'm gonna go in with West Side now, which is this shade. Pretty versatile palette. Versatile, versatile, versatile. That sounds weirder than versatile. In the way that you can make it really peachy if you want, but you could also make it really goldy. So I guess it's not that versatile because um, you can kind of get like two different eye looks out of it. We have that mom cat in our house, you know, the mama kitty that we let in because she got attacked by a dog. Did I tell you guys about that? I think I did. Anyway, um, if you didn't see it or if you didn't see my last video where I talked about it, we've been feeding the stray kitties outside for the last like two years. Do you guys remember Truck Guy, the guy that revs his engine in like all of my videos? Well, he moved out and when he left, it's just a cat walking behind there so you can see like the light changing back there. It, when he moved out, he didn't take his kitty with him. And I'm pretty sure that was Mama Kitty because we saw her show up when he moved in and then we saw her stay when he moved out and nobody's ever pet her outside. I've never seen anybody with her. I've never seen anybody feed her or care for her or anything like that. And she was scared as shit when we first moved in. I mean, she wouldn't even come within a hundred feet of us. She was gone. And remember Zach and I used to say to each other all the time, God, I wish she would just let us pet her. <laughs> and then I saw her get pregnant and I was like, oh, damn it, that sucks. She had five babies. So I didn't see mama for a minute. And I was like, where the heck did she go? And then, and then one day I looked over at my neighbor's house and I saw a couple of cat heads poking out of these two little holes that are underneath the house. And I was like, she had her babies and oh yeah, she did. She had five kittens. And so ever since then I've been feeding them. As soon as I realized they were there, I've been feeding mom before that. And she is an angel. She slowly started get letting us get closer to her. I mean, before it was like literally a hundred feet gone. And then it was like 75 and then it was like 50 and then it was like 25. And now she's asleep on my bed because she's such a good girl. Like I can't even explain to you how good of a girl she is. Last week we were outside and I think I told you guys the story already. If I did, I'm so sorry. But we were outside and we saw these two stray dogs running by our house. We grabbed the dogs and called animal control. That's what you're supposed to do in our county. Animal control is really good with them. They keep them at their facility for three days. And then if no owners are found or no owners come forward, then they take them to Humane Society, still try to find their owners, still keep the paperwork up. And then if no owner is found, like via a microchip or registration or anything like that, then they adopt them out. They don't euthanize them. Our animal control is really, really good about that. Like they don't do that crap. So anyway, let me get to the story back in a second, but I've been really liking curly lashes lately. Like I'm talking the curlier, the better. I want them to like, Ugh. so I didn't realize that you can curl false lashes. And so I've just been like kind of sticking them in the eyelash curler and just kind of like doing a quick little boop on the end of them. And it really helps them to just kind of curl up little, little, Anyway, so we were outside, we called animal control, we were waiting for them to show up. And whilst we were waiting for them to show up, the dog gets loose, the dog runs over and the dog attacks Mama Kitty. Bites the crap out of her, she's fight, fighting back and we could not find her anywhere. She took 
off and I was so upset. I was so upset because I felt like it was my fault because I was trying to help that dog. I'm outside shaking bags of food, trying to find her anywhere that I can. I finally find her. She's on the top of a house on the roof. All of this is documented on my Instagram stories and my highlights, by the way, in case anyone wants to see it. I rush her to the vet. She's totally fine. She's just a little bit bruised up. And that day I decided to let mama inside because I was like, okay, you were attacked by a dog on my porch. You're clearly not fully safe outside. You don't have any owners. Nobody's claiming you. And I was like, and you're super sweet. You don't leave my porch. You love everybody here. Like you're just going to be my inside girl. So we brought her in a week, week and a half now. She's doing pretty good in here. She's really loving us. She does not like my other cats. Let me tell you, she does not like them at all. She doesn't like hate them. She just sits there like mm, all the time. She just wants to like, please leave me alone. And they don't leave her alone because she's new and she's cute. If you guys haven't seen her, oh, please look at my Instagram story. She is a doll. She's got long fluffy black hair. She's jet black, like her whiskers are black, her everything, but she's got these two bright yellowy green eyes. She looks just like Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon. People keep asking like, are we naming her? What is our name for her? We call her mama because that's what we've always called her because she is a mama. She has bunny fur, okay? So she feels like a friggin' bunny rabbit. When she runs around our house, because her fur is so soft and so long, and it's also long in between her paws, she slides all over the house. It's the cutest thing. It's like she has slippery socks on because when she's running and she hits a corner, she slides around the corner. <laughs> she's on our bed sleeping right now. She sleeps with us every night. She's a pretty happy girl. But yesterday um, I was out, I opened the door to go feed her babies and I had a handful of cat food. She booked it outside and I couldn't find her for like, 12 hours. At the end of the night last night, right before I went to bed, I went to go check outside one last time to see if she was out there and she was standing right by the door. Brought her in and she slept right on our bed at our feet all night long. And then when these ones dry, I'm gonna curl them even a little more. Cause see how these are like going up and it looks so cute. And then these ones are like going straight and they just look a little more, I don't know, not cute. Anyway, I talk about cats a lot, but I just really love cats, okay? I really, 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 really love them. Did I just make those weird? Whatever, I'm done curling these damn lashes. Oh, I love these eyes so much. This is like my shit. Blush, don't mind if I do. I'm gonna use this ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in Cruel Intentions. I'm gonna use it with my little Fenty sponge and see if that works. Is it doing anything? I think it is, isn't it? Yeah, it's putting some color down. That's kind of a nice way to apply it. I really like these ColourPop blushes. They're so good. They like give the most beautiful wash of color without being overkill. They just look so nice. I'm really liking the way this makeup looks. When I first put this on, my foundation looked cakey as hell. And now, I mean, it still kind of does, but when it kind of warms up to your skin a little bit, it looks nice. I, I'm really happy with the way this is turning out. Pretty. All right, highlight wise, I'm gonna use a highlighter. I've never really like ventured into Tarte highlighters, but I was gifted some of these when I was on the trip with them and I wanna give them a try. And so this is, I think the one I'm gonna try today. This is the Highlight Stunner. I think it's underperforming because it's on top of powder because it's on so much powder because if this were on a stickier base, like an unpowdered foundation, I think it would stick a lot better. Maybe this one again, maybe? This is Maleficent highlighter. I'm gonna use it on that same Fenty Beauty sponge. Ooh, I like that. I really like these Super Shock highlighters. They're just pretty. I feel like this is the way to use them is on a sponge. This one's pretty glittery, but yeah, very glittery. I mean, I really like it, don't get me wrong, but. Maybe I'll use a little bit of this one. This is the one that I said was gonna be so lackluster. This is Hades. Oh, that's actually kind of pretty. I feel like this one's less glittery and just more like wet looking. It looks kind of lackluster when you swatch it, but it looks pretty on the face. All right, and then for lip gloss, I haven't used this in a while. This is Super Nude by KKW. I remember loving this last year so much. It gives me a severe case of butthole lips, but you know, we got Muggalicious. Oh, she crusty. Mm. 
much better. Who, who can ever deny Mochalicious? Look at that. All right, let's do one more spritz of this, and by one more, I mean 14. Uncanny. It is just uncanny. It is a watermelon Jolly Rancher. All right, you guys, and this is the finished look. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. I feel so pretty. I feel like my under eyes look very bright. That Fenty powder really brightened the crap out of my under eyes. Do I look kind of cakey? Yes. Do I care? No, and I'll tell you why. Because after my whole face of makeup went on, I think that this is actually working relatively well. I think that initially it looked like it was gonna be way too much, and it is a lot of makeup. I mean, a lot, more than I would usually wear, but I'm pretty happy with the outcome. I feel like it looks good, and I feel like it's gonna last all day because this is a very, very set look. I mean, I've got full baking face, I've got powder, I've got primer, I've got setting spray. I don't think this is going anywhere. I'm definitely gonna try the CYO again. Again, I don't even know what you're talking about because I didn't try it today. This is not my first impression of CYO. Off of seeing it for the first time, it actually looks really nice, even caked with makeup like I have right now. Um, it looks pretty good. I mean, it doesn't look like the best thing I've ever tried. I'm gonna try it again without the Tatcha base and I'm gonna try it with just like a hydrating base and I'm gonna try it without the powder because I think that's more of like realistically how I'd wear it on the day to day. Um, everything else that I tried, lovely. I know these, I, I think these aren't actually bronzers. I think that they're just setting powders in a range of tones, but you could certainly use them that way. I love the eyes, the all matte look. It's just like really doing it for me. And the lashes that are curled, bitch i am in love and everything else pretty good so i thank you guys for watching this video i know it was like all over the place it was such a shit show because i just don't know when i'm going I, I don't know i'm just feeling a little bit like behind let me just tell you i'm working on some stuff behind the scenes you guys aren't going to find out for a long time but you have literally no clue how hard what I am doing is. I know beauty people say this shit all the time when they're working on project behind the scenes. They're like, you guys, I work so hard. Like, no, you really do. So much so that from 7.30 a.m. yesterday to 9 p.m., non-stop. I mean, non-stop, just sitting, working, 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 working. And I, I've, I've never worked so hard on something in my entire life. I hope it all comes together well. Other than that, um, if you guys missed my declutter video, it was not even so much a declutter video as it was like an organizational, like picking up my room and showing you like a before and after of the room. I'm gonna go through and I'm going to actually organize all of this makeup. It's so much better. And I've really kept on top of it since that video, like putting everything away when I'm done with it. Like all this makeup that's on my table right now is gonna go get put away in its proper drawer because it really helps me stay on top of like keeping things neat and organized and that's what i need in my life right now all right you guys well thank you guys so much for watching i hope it was kind of fun to just like sit around and play with makeup and have a good time and i appreciate you guys so much thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you have not yet i upload pretty much every monday wednesday friday you guys can also follow me on instagram and twitter Wow, that was rude, never cut me off. <laughs> you guys can follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you guys wanna you know, follow along more closely, see more cats. If you don't care, don't go to my Instagram stories because it's all cats, all cats all the time. And I'm not even sorry. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Ah, I have a kitty. You're whiny. What you got on your nose, Syl? What you got? It for you. You're so whiny. Are you sleepy? Oh! Have I ever met a whinier kitten? You always have a little something on your nosey. You're the one who wanted up here. Hey guys, today. Cat hair. Oh, I just wiped my eye as if it didn't have concealer all over it because there's cat hair all over my face. Cool. That is my cat behind my backdrop. Just kicking the shit out of it. She's rabbit kicking it. Come on. Come on. Just come on. If you're gonna be like that, just come on. Get up here. Come sit behind me. Come on, kid. 
Come on. There we go. Mac, does that make you happy? He's right behind me. When I posted this on... Can you see him? Maddie, why? why? Sweetheart. <laughs> why? You? There's a reason I shut my door when I'm filming. You know why? Because of you, you little stink. There's just a cat on me. Will I be able to film this? Stinker. What? You think you want up here? You think you want love? You think you want attention? Then when you get it, you run away from it. The cat is driving me insane. I know he just loves me, but he stands up on my leg and he scratches the crap out of me. And I cut his nails the other day and it still doesn't matter. He still scratches me. He's doing it out of love, but like, ow. Kinda of gonna get, kinda of gonna get, get, get. Where is a brush that I can use that isn't dirty as shit? My camera battery finally died. There's a cat behind me, so. Oh, now I'm orange. Wow. All right. Blush, or excuse me. Oh God, my hands are so dirty. I'm gonna go in with a color. Which highlighter do I want to use? I'm orange. Ah, no! I almost dropped you and I'm so sorry. 